Welcome to Art with Mrs. Barnicut. Let's learn and review some things about the art room. This is where you will line up for art class. You should stand quietly in line and wait for Mrs. Barnicut to open the door and invite you inside. Then you will come in and walk quietly to your assigned seat. First, let's go over the art room rules. A stands for always try your best. R stands for respect everyone and their artwork. And T stands for take care of all materials and clean up. Let's go over what happens if a student is not following the art room rules. If you're not making a smart choice, Mrs. Barnicut will write your name on the blue sign. Like here, as an example, the name Jackie is written on the sign. Jackie is my sister's name. That means that Jackie needs to change her behavior. Let's pretend that Jackie is talking out of turn when Mrs. Barnicut is teaching. If Jackie continues to talk out of turn, Mrs. Barnicut will write check marks next to her name. That means that there will be a consequence for Jackie. If the behavior continues, Mrs. Barnicut will have to contact home about the behavior. At the end of class, Mrs. Barnicut will erase names from the behavior board. Let's talk about table supplies. At your table, you will always have basic supplies to share with your table group. Usually you'll find pencils, Sharpies, scissors, erasers, and glue sticks in your supply box. Make sure that you keep your table supplies neat and organized by putting them back in the right spot. Like this is not an example of putting them back in the right spot. Let's make sure they all go back where they should so that everyone can find what they need. Over here, you'll find our shared supply table. Here you will find dry coloring materials, like today we have markers, colored pencils, and crayons. There will be more things added throughout the year depending on which projects we are working on. After the lesson is over for the day, you can take supplies to your table to use. When it's time to clean up, make sure you put the supplies away in the right place. Like here, this is not how the coloring supplies should be put away. Make sure they go back in the same spot that you got them. Over here is the basic supply refill area. You will find replacements to the supplies that are at your table, like glue sticks, sharpies, erasers, pencils, and scissors. You can also find rulers here. Let's say that it's a painting day in art and you're ready to paint. You'll need to get a messy mat from the messy mat box on the counter by the sink. And then you're going to take your messy mat to your table so that you can paint on top of it. When you're done, it's going to go on the drying rack with your artwork underneath. There are three drying racks in the art room. There's one over here by the blue cabinet near the purple table. There's also one on top of this table near the sink area. And then if we walk all the way over here, there is one behind the green table by the window. You can use the one that is closest to where you sit. Other things that you'll need for painting are a water cup and a paintbrush. You may need to go over to the sink area to get those things if they're not already at the table that you sit at. Sometimes you'll see water cups that are pre-filled with clean water and a paintbrush like this. Then you could just take this over to your seat to use. If you don't see that, then you can go to this box that says clean water cups take a water cup and you're going to fill it up about half way. We don't need to fill this all the way to the top because then it's likely to spill and we don't need to waste that much water. Just about halfway like that. Then you can take a paintbrush and bring that to your table to use. Let's say you were finished painting for the day and it is time to clean up. Take your messy mat with your painting on top to the drying rack nearest where you sit in the art room. It is a good idea to start at the bottom of the drying rack when it is empty so that other students can see where to put their paintings. So find an empty spot on the drying rack and just slide your messy mat and painting onto it. Then you'll need to put away your water cup and paintbrush at the sink. Oh no, it looks like someone made a mess here at the sink. Let's take care of putting our water cup away first. 
Put your used paintbrush in the dirty brushes cup. Then to clean your cup, pour out the dirty water and rinse your cup at least once. Then you can refill your water cup about halfway and set it on the counter for other students to use. Or you can stack your clean water cup in the box which is next to the sink. If you notice that the sink area is a bit messy, make sure you wipe it down with a towel. Then make sure you put your paints back where they belong. Let's go over the paper table. Notice that this box says project paper. The paper here should not be used for free draw and only with Mrs. Barnicut's permission. You may also find handouts and worksheets here. We also have some cleaning supplies here, which we will go over in a little bit. Let's go over the extra art shelf. You can use things on the shelf when you are finished with your project for the day and have made your very best effort. On the shelf, you will find how to draw books and drawing binders with drawing directions for things like animals and cars, free draw paper and idea sticks if you need an idea of what to draw. Coloring sheets, but make sure that you only take one coloring sheet at a time. If you finish one, you can take another one. You will also find whiteboards and whiteboard markers, stencils, picture books, books about artists, extra paper and paper scraps to create with. Remember the extra art shelf is closed when it is cleanup time and you cannot get any more supplies from it that day. When you're done with your artwork and you're ready to turn it in, Make sure that your name and your class code are on the back of your artwork. This says Jackie, the student's name, and their class code, K2, or kindergarten, room two. When you turn in your artwork that is dry, meaning that it doesn't have any wet paint on it, you're going to put it in the box that matches your class. Now this student is in K2, so theirs would go in the box that says K2. Oh, wait, is that the right box? No, that says K3. Make sure that you put it inside the right box. There we go, K2. Over here, you will find the no name artwork box. This is where lonely artwork goes that has no name and class code. If you're missing an artwork, be sure to check the no name box and you may find it. Let's check out the timer for the art room. Over at Mrs. Barnicut's desk, you will see a timer. This will tell you how much time is left of art class. Like for example here, it says about 40 minutes. This is just a reminder that we need to use our time wisely, but not a reminder to rush through our work. When the red area gets small, it means that the time will be running out soon. When you hear a beep, that means it's cleanup time. Now we need to work on cleaning up our tables. First, make sure you put away all the supplies that you took out. If you're done, see if you can help clean up for another person at your table. Like I see a random messy mat here, so I'm going to put it away. Now that we've put away all the supplies, we definitely need to clean the table here. Mrs. Barnicut will pass out wipes or a student may pass out wipes to clean the table surface. If for some reason you don't get a wipe or you need one during class, you can find wipes here on the paper table in the front. When you're cleaning, make sure you get all the spots and spend at least 10 seconds cleaning your table area. Don't forget to throw away your wipe when you're done. Once your table is clean, go back to your seat and sit quietly until Mrs. Barnicut calls you to line up. This is where we will line up and walk out of the glass door to exit the building. When you're walking in the hallway, you should be using a whisper voice or not talk at all. There are other classes in this building and we need to be respectful of them. There should never be any running, jumping, or playing in the hallway. I can't wait to create with you this year. Happy art making!